We're finally back home. But I don't see you here anywhere. Are you out doing something right now? Oh yeah, sorry. I step out to go. Do some shopping. So I'm going to be away for a while longer actually. Oh, okay. I see. Well, have fun I guess. I'll see you at home. Okay, and I also have dinner plans with my parents later. But yeah, sorry. I thought you were not going to be home until later. What happened? Well, yeah. That was the original plan. But then my mom said she wanted to leave early plus the weather turned so we just decided to call it off. The weather turned? You mean it got worse? But it's been sunny all throughout the afternoon. You mean you really didn't notice anything? Oh, well, I'm impressed. Yeah, there were some mudslides and really strong winds too. Oh really? I had no idea. I've been inside this department store the whole time. I must have just not bothered to look outside. Well, it looks like it might get worse again later today. So mom and I agreed to end our day early and I just came home. That all makes sense. I'm sorry your plans fell apart though. Did the two of you at least be able to go see the play that you had tickets for? I hope that it was fun. Yeah, we did it actually. It was really, really great. And then we even went to a pretty fancy sushi place for lunch. Oh, that sounds really good. It's been a while since I had sushi. What place was it? It was this place that just opened and my mom read about it in a magazine. It was really, really good. Wow, that sounds amazing. Well, you have to tell me about what they had and maybe we can go. And also, I just wanted to say that I think you're doing really great, Mary. What do you mean by that, Bob? I didn't even do anything. I just mean about how you're so good about spending time with your parents. But also how you spent that sweet fruit basket to my parents too. They just know how to make everyone happy. Well, I'm just trying to give back to the people who have given so much to us already, you know? Not just my parents, but yours as well. And if they really enjoy what I do for them, then that makes me happy too. <laughs> yeah, at this rate, I think my parents might end up liking you more than they do to me. I just don't know how to please people like that. Well, what if you did something like take them on a trip? I bet they would love to travel somewhere fun with you. I've heard that your parents have never really even traveled all that much before. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe I'll do something like that. I think that would be great. You could all go on a family vacation and it would make your parents really happy. Actually, the more I think about it, the worse of an idea it sounds. I mean, traveling with my parents? That is going to be so embarrassing. Well, either way, it's still a really good present and I'm sure you'd enjoy yourself on a fun trip. Isn't that the point of all this? I guess, but I can't just tell my parents that I'm taking them on a trip all of a sudden. If anything, they're going to think that I've done something wrong and I'm trying to hide it. You really think so? Well, even so, I'm sure that they'll be grateful for the present once they realize nothing else was happening. I don't like it. Maybe a daughter could get away with that, but not a son like me. They wouldn't believe it. I don't think that has anything to do with that though. And why do you think anyone would suspect you of anything? It's just a nice gesture for your parents. I know, but planning a whole trip is such a pain. And for three people too? Well, sure. It isn't an easy task after all, but you implied to me that you wanted an idea of something you could do for your parents. This is my suggestion. I guess so. I don't know though. I still have my doubts. All I'm saying is that our parents are getting up there in age. Everyone may still be healthy, but we never know when something might happen. I just think that if you could go on this trip with your parents, that it might be a good memory to have with them for you as well. Okay, okay, I get it. Jeez, just like to think about it, okay? Hey Bob, I just wanted to let you know that I was going to go to my parents' house this afternoon. I don't think that I'm gonna be home in time for dinner though, so you're gonna have to fend for yourself tonight. I'm sorry. You're going to your parents' house tonight? What's going on? Did something happen? Well, my dad is in the hospital he is so something did happen what is it did he get hurt is he sick i'm not sure apparently he just started feeling unwell last night and they had to rush him to the hospital he's been there since last night i thought he was so healthy but how could this happen to him 
So then, how is your dad doing? Is he okay? I'm not sure. I don't think so. They said he would probably have to stay at the hospital for a few weeks. Oh, phew. Well, that's a relief. I was getting worried there for a second. I mean, it isn't like he's in a critical condition or anything, but it does seem like this might pose some more long-term health problems for him. I would really like it if you could be there to see him. It would make me feel so much better. Mm, well, I'm not sure if I'll be able to take the day off. I won't be able to go in until work is over. Oh, I see. Well, I'm not sure if visiting hours will still be happening then. But if you have some time too, I would really appreciate it if you could visit him. Of course, and I'm really sorry that you're going through all this right now. It's... well, it is what it is, I guess. But I'm probably going to be going back and forth from my parents' place until my dad is released from the hospital. I kind of have to, since you know that my mom can't drive and the hospital is so far from where they live. Wow, that sounds like a lot to deal with. But of course, I don't mind if you do that. Is your job going to be okay with that? Well, I talked to my boss about the situation and they said that they were okay with me leaving a little early each day, but I have to go to work even earlier instead. Ah, I see. Well, it's a good thing that your office is so flexible with that. Well, I'm only working part-time, so I'm sure it's not a big deal for the company. But since I'm going to be driving around so much, I don't think that I'm going to be able to do as much work around the house. Well, that really can't be helped, can it? But the timing really couldn't be worse. The timing? What do you mean? Do you have something going on? Well, I was just about to go to take my parents on their trip, so I was going to be leaving soon. Wait, really? You mean you think you're gonna take them somewhere? Yeah, I was thinking of going somewhere abroad, but now that your dad is in the hospital, this might not work. Especially if we're gonna be all the way in another country. I know, but this is the only time of the year that we could all go. Otherwise, they'll be too busy for the rest of the year and won't be able to go. This might be the only time my parents ever get to leave the country in their whole lives. But now that your dad's in the hospital, I guess that it would be really rude to go on the trip, huh? I know, but it sounds like you really want to go on this trip with your parents. I'm really sorry. All of this is happening. Do you remember telling me that our parents aren't always going to be healthy and able to do stuff with us? Of course I do. We just talked about that the other day, before this happened. Well, those words really stuck with me. And now this has happened to your dad. I mean, everyone gets sick. No one knows what tomorrow is going to bring them. You just really can't take anything for granted, can you? I guess you really can't. Can you? You really never know what's going to happen. I have no idea when something like this might happen to my own parents. I mean, your dad loved a mountain climb and even he got sick. If anything happened like that to my parents, I doubt that they would ever be able to travel after that. You might be right about that, actually. Maybe you should just go on the trip with your parents. I'm sad that I won't be able to go, but I hope that the three of you have fun. Are you sure about this? I mean, I could also just give my parents their tickets and let them go without me. You could do that, but like I said, it would be their first time abroad and I'm sure that they would want you there, so just take the trip with your parents. My dad's condition isn't that serious yet. I'm sure you could go and come back. Thank you so much for this, Mary. This really means a lot. I promise to bring back lots of souvenirs to everyone. Okay. I really wish that I could go with you, but I hope that you have a good time with your parents and make sure to make a bunch of good memories with them and have enough fun for all of us back home here. Bob, my dad, he passed away. Wait, no, how could that be? What happened? I thought you said he was doing okay. He was. But then this morning, his condition suddenly worsened. Mom and I rushed to get to the hospital, but it was already too late. Mary, I'm so, so sorry. This all has happened so quickly. I don't know what to say. I'm just shocked. I feel so confused and torn up inside. She was a huge mess when we got to the hospital. It took me a while to calm her down. She's on the phone with the funeral home right now. I was gonna start calling relatives and letting them know. I still just can't believe it. I mean, how did it happen this quickly? You said it was going to be out in just a few weeks. I know, I thought so too. But the funeral is going to be in a couple days apparently. 
Are you going to be back by then? Hmm, I really don't think I will actually. I mean, the flight back is already going to be over 10 hours, and that's assuming there are no delays or problems with the plan at all. Plus, I might not even be able to get the tickets to go back right now. So then you're not going to be able to be at a funeral? I really don't think I can. I'm so sorry about this. Well, it sounds like this really isn't your fault at all. I mean, you're abroad, and I shouldn't have expected you to be able to come home so soon. Besides, if I tried to leave now, then I would be leaving my parents all alone, and I don't think that they would want that. It's just all so sudden, you know. N no, I really do understand, and thankfully, I think I can call on relatives to help me out. My brothers are already here to help arrange things with the funeral. Oh, they're there too? Well, that's good. I'm glad you're not alone. I'm just sorry about this. I bet that I've totally ruined your trip. I hope you can still manage to have some fun. You didn't do anything like that at all. And if anything, I should be the one who's sorry. I mean, I can't be there for you at this critical time in your life. Maybe I should have never taken this trip. Either way, I'll try and look into coming home early if I can. I know. But I don't think we can really blame ourselves for this. I mean, who could have guessed that this would happen? I know, but still, I'm just so sad that I couldn't be there to say goodbye to your dad and then to not even make it to the funeral. But it isn't your fault. I mean, just the other day, my dad seemed as healthy as he can be. Everyone thought that the doctor was right and that he would be out in a matter of weeks. But then for this to go and happen... I guess you really just never know what life is going to throw your way next. It really is true. So that's why you should make the most of this trip. We never know when we'll be able to do things like this again. I suppose you're right, yeah. I know that if I didn't take my parents on this trip and something happened that would have prevented them from going, that I would regret that as long as I live. I really am happy that I've been able to be here and spend so much time with my parents. You were right about going on this trip. Hey Mary, I'm just checking in to see how things are going for you. And I wanted to say again how sorry I am that I can't be at the funeral with you today. Oh, that's okay. Thankfully, all went well and there were no incidents or drama. So I would say that everything went about as smoothly as it can for a funeral. Please, give them all my thanks for being there for you when I couldn't. I'll make sure to let them know how grateful we both are to them. Don't you worry. Well, anyways, I also wanted to let you know that I finally got a ticket back home and I'm going to be taking the first flight back tomorrow morning. Then, once I get back, I can help with whatever you need from me. I wasn't there for you for all of this, but I want to be there for you now. You finally managed to get a ticket back here? Well, that's okay. You don't have to come back early. Why don't you just keep enjoying your trip? Wait, what? Mary, please. I really am sorry that I can't be there for you right now. But you don't have to take that tone with me. It's a text. There's no tone. But I'm not taking one with you. I really mean it. Do not bother coming home. You mean like, at all? But why? I don't understand. Did something happen? Why does it seem like you're mad at me all of a sudden? I'm not mad. I just wanted to let you know that once you get back from your little affair, that you won't even have a place to come home to. My affair? What are you talking about, honey? Don't you honey me. Are you telling me that you aren't having an affair with that old classmate Johnny of yours? This must have been quite thrilling for you, since the two of you were both married. Wait, no, I really have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't do anything like that at all. And here I thought you actually cared about spending time with your parents. How did I ever trust you? But it really isn't a lie. I really have no idea what you're talking about. Hmm. Well, then maybe I should ask your parents since they were at the funeral as well. Wait, they were? That's right. Even your parents were kind enough to come to my dad's funeral, but not you. But I don't understand. Why would they show up to something like that? That's what I want to know. I was under the impression that they were busy traveling with you, but they told me that they knew nothing of any kind of trip anywhere. But why would the two of them go to your dad's funeral? It doesn't make sense. What are you talking about? Our parents stay in contact with each other. My mom told them what happened. Did you really forget how long our families have known each other? We grew up around the corner from one another. 
I think it's pretty natural that your parents would be told about my dad's passing and then show up to his funeral. I don't believe it. I just don't even know what to say. Well, you better think of something a little better than that for your sake. Now, start explaining. And how did you find out about Jane? Well, I was using your tablet while you were away and you happened to leave your reservations open on the browser there. And that was when I saw only two names, you and Jane. So then that's it. You saw it all then. That's right. Now, let's stop with all the lies. I've already told Jane's parents about what she was doing with you. You did what? But how did you even get in contact with them? Well, since we all went to school together, there were some mutual friends of ours at a funeral. I asked them if they knew how to get in contact with their parents, and then I told them. But I had no idea that she was married. This gonna create quite a mess. I heard that they told her husband right away, and he called Jane. Have you not heard anything about that at all? Her husband and parents know all about you. Well, what about my parents? What do they know? Everything! And theirs is as mad as Jane's parents. You should have seen how disappointed they were about this. I told them all about the trip. I suggested you go on and you use that as a lie to try and trick me. You're so pathetic. Do you even realize that? No, please. You don't understand. This has to be some kind of mistake. I mean, I never thought I would get found out like this. If you didn't want to get caught, it's because you knew that you were doing something wrong. Honestly, you're just the worst. So anyways, again, don't bother coming home. In fact, you might not even want to because the rumors about you are spreading. And just what is that supposed to mean? Who all knows about this? I would say everyone that matters. Our family, relatives, and then whoever else they talk to as well. Oh no, this is really, really bad. You think you have it bad? What about me? My dad just died. And then I have to find out that you're cheating on me days before the funeral? You lied to me! But even after taking the shock of your affair, I still had to go through this funeral on my own. I'm so, so sorry. I really didn't want to go home early, but it just wasn't a viable option. I'm sorry that this happened. I don't believe a word you say anymore. I looked into flight delays around where you were staying and there was nothing. There was no reason you shouldn't have been able to buy a ticket sooner. You mean you went so far as to try and look in and on what I was doing? That's right. I was just so worried about why I couldn't come home that I look it up myself. Did you really not want to come to this funeral so badly? No, it isn't like that at all. It was just that the day of the funeral overlapped with reservations at this really famous restaurant. And I really didn't want to lose those plans. So you thought it was more important to have a fancy dinner than be there for my dad? I don't even know what to say to that. But anyways, I have my half of the divorce paper signed and waiting for you whenever you come back. You can't mean that you really want to get a divorce, right? Can we just talk about this? There's nothing left to talk about. Enjoy the rest of your trip. I hope you're ready for everything waiting for you back here. Please, I'm so sorry for lying to you. You have to believe that I really do want to take my parents on a trip. And I really am going to break things off of Jane. Please, I never meant to cheat on you. You might as well save your effort and do it with the begging. I don't want to hear one word of it. I'm telling the truth though. I'm sorry for everything. I had no idea that your dad was going to die. If that didn't happen, then none of this would have happened. Don't disrespect my dad by blaming his dad on what was really your stupidity. And accept that. We are getting divorced. Wait, hold on, please. You have to forgive me. I don't want to divorce. And how do I know that that wasn't a lie either? It really isn't. I'm telling the truth. Please, trust me. Even yesterday, I wasn't thinking of divorce. But now that I've had more time, it's the only thing that I can think of. But it's like you said, I guess you never really can guess what life throws at you. After that, Bob flew back home as soon as he could and was greeted with a stern talking to by his parents. Well, it was more like a grilling than anything. They were furious with him for cheating on his wife and for disrespecting their family. They told him that he was no longer welcome in their home and that he should be ashamed of himself. Jane was also treated to her berating when she returned home. 
Her parents were equally angry with her for her role in the affair. They told her that she had betrayed their trust and that she was no longer welcome in their home either. I followed through with my promise of divorcing Bob and sued him and Jane for their affair. Given that we live in a such a small town, though it wasn't long before just about everyone knew what those two had done. They couldn't stand the social pressure anymore and one day, they just left the town. I have no idea where they are or if they're even together now. I'm not sure I want to know. All I know is that I'm glad to be rid of them.